Sharon is the owner of a condo in Louisville and is planning on moving away for a couple of years for her job, but she's also planning on returning, and she wants to rent her condo out while she's gone. But her condo association says that's not allowed, and she's wondering why, and can she fight the condo association? Randy, you may want to jump in on this as well, but let's start with what she could do with the condo association once again. Well, again, if it's part of the uh, the rules at the condo association, when she came in, she signed off saying, hey, I agree to live by you know these rules, so you can't just arbitrarily do it. Okay. And in many cases, um, it, you know, it depends again on the HOA documentation, but there are those uh, out there that uh, can fine you. Okay. You, you, you do something like this. Um, they can fine you, you know, X amount per month, whatever. Uh, and then they can foreclose on you to collect that amount. Okay. Mm. Um, and mm. then there are others that if you violate the rules in that fashion and you refuse to uh, stop violating them, uh, then they can just go straight uh, to the foreclosure. Uh, so it's not something to just turn your nose up and go, hey, I'm just going to do it. You know, uh, better to ask for you know, forgiveness than permission kind of thing. Um, but that being said, um, I know at uh, our HOA, uh, our monthly meetings uh, always have somebody who's got something going on that maybe they want to deviate from the rules for a particular reason. We sit there and we discuss it. Uh, you know, like human beings, uh, and then make a decision based on that. Now, with renting, a lot of places don't discuss that like human beings. They are mm -hmm. adamantly opposed. I have seen some HOAs where uh, it's it's almost like they engage in in uh, uh, harassment to uh, um, try and convince people not to rent. Uh, those, well, you know, those needed the lawsuits that were involved but there's a reason that the condo associations don't want you to rent randy rocky there the, it there's a, there's a problem with fha that w they will not finance a loan if the percentage of homes rented or condos rented in a complex exceeds what percentage at this point is it 10 i should know that answer but i think it's 30 30 percent okay well it, it does vary so for whatever yeah. reason but so if the number is more an FHA loan will not go through in that sub to the condo location, and then no one can sell to an FHA right. buyer, which, which is a big part of the market right now. It's very big. So yes. just so you know, that's the reason why they keep such a tight control on the number of renters that are in plus the value. Uh, that's yeah. always you know uh, that's always one of the big ones. Uh, I have seen some lawsuits where you know they tried to force them not to rent uh, to anybody when they it did allow. Uh, so I mean, it it kind of cuts both ways there. Yeah, and and the government says if you rent out your your condo, the renter is not going to take as good of care of it as you as the owner would. So that's why they limit the number of renters that they want in a, a complex. That's just yeah. their thinking, is what. I've oh, heard. and and you yeah. mentioned that it makes another thought jump to my head. Uh, at closings, um, you know, if you're if you're buying the house as your resident and you've borrowed money as your residence, uh, there is a particular time frame where they expect you to live there as your residence after mm -hmm. which you can then rent the property out mm -hmm. so if you buy it and then a month later you say nah i think i want to go off on a two-year uh, you know trek through you know zimbabwe uh that might be an issue yeah, going to zimbabwe yeah that sounds good we are out of time a reminder if you want to see a rebroadcast of today's show go to louisvilleanswers.com if you'd like to see some of the videos that we create of our sellers after they meet with me you can go to um bob at we sell louisville.com there's plenty of stuff there for you to review we really appreciate it and also go to louisville sellers talk.com that's louisville sellers talk.com my thanks to randy rocky with the swan financial they do a great job getting you pre-approved i can attest to that from personal experience and getting you to the closing table you can reach randy at six four five zero seven three six also to chuck crosby he's the head guy at the crosby law offices who they do a phenomenal job with real estate closings but he also does wills so important powers of attorney foreclosure defense a variety of other things he goes above and beyond the call of duty i can tell you that again for personal experience you can reach chuck at 499-6360 and if you're thinking of selling your home now or in the near future i'd love to come out talk to you free no obligation we can talk about the process the plan what the home is worth and i'll spend as much time as you need to talk about everything that's involved in selling your home and also buying a home you can reach me on my cell phone anytime 376-5483 or go to bobsellslouisville.com we're out of time. See you next Sunday on News Radio 840 WHAS.